Do you guys love this new backdrop that I have? I'm new, new anchor desk here. And as you can see, I'm more live at live at 6 p.m. right here because she's going to be my guest. Gemma Queen Amoy is going to be on my guest on my show. Stay tuned. And you know what? This is 20th episode. Time flies. And special shout out to director Joseph Morris, Toronto Path, for this special background here. Lots of things to talk about. And you know, first off, two months ago, I went to Copenhagen, Denmark, and I interviewed Barb Maritz. It's a beautiful tapas restaurant located at SP34 Hotel. And I have a very amazing time interviewing chef Catalina and she's going to talk about what type of food and drinks that people are expect to go when they are check it out in Copenhagen Denmark so check out the wine and the food that she has to say about the restaurant Bar Maritz the key motto here is wine dine and repeat it's a unique experience for people to share the food with little tiny different different um, proportion of food so that everybody can share and share the experience together beautiful wine here and this is one of the many restaurants from a uh, very local famous guy, Ken Hustad here. Uh, can you talk about this restaurant? Uh, what kind of experience that you want people to experience here? Well, uh, as you very well you said, it's tapas, and the concept is uh, always share, and always in a very informal mood, in the way that um, you order as, as, as soon as you think that you want to eat. Uh, the feeling when you eat the small portions is that uh, you never feel full, so you always want another dish, which uh, will be always different. Uh, we try to export the idea and the feeling of Mediterranean and Mediterranean style, how the way how we eat there, it doesn't matter the country. In this case, it's more Spanish. I'm from Spain, so of course you will feel um, a lot of Spanish flavors, but actually is the way how we spend time in the bars just drinking and ordering food without order and always sharing. That's the, the main uh, concept that we have here and we will work with this concept. Now, um, Ken. That was awesome. If every time you find destination of Copenhagen, Denmark is your next destination, make sure you check out SP34 and Bar Maritz and you know, they're amazing destination for you to uh, stay there for accommodation. Now, you know what? Two weeks ago, I got invited by Get PR, and special thank you for the invitation. I was invited for Garlic Festival, and honestly, the first time I heard Garlic Festival, I was really unsure. I was like, really? They have a festival just for garlic? But you know what? When I was there at the Brickworks, it was amazing. There are a lot of happenings there. There are a lot of different dishes that actually have garlic as one of the ingredients. I tried the garlic coffee the garlic, French toast, there are a lot of things to happening. So they even have a breathalyzer to check how crazy your garlic breath was uh, after tasting all these garlics. So check it out, check out the scenes. Yo guys, this is Mo Bernie on the move right now. I'm live at Garlic Festival at the Brickworks. Beautiful sunny day here. And you, in case you're wondering, what is Garlic Festival? Really, there's a festival for garlic? Check it out, man. It's very lively here. You even have a Toronto, Toronto Garlic Festival mascot here. And here is Ontario Science Center trying to do something to help you test how good is your breath. So you can be on the breathalyzer. After you're munching all these garlic goodies, you can see what kind of food there is. And this place is lively right here. And over is out. You know what, if you miss out this year, Make sure you check out next year for Garlic Festival Toronto. It's an amazing event and I will definitely go again. And the beautiful weather that day at the Brickworks is just a lot of nice walking, checking out the scenery, the natural scenery around you. It's a great exercise as well. If you have dogs and pets, I heard it's a great place to walk your dogs and uh, all the different pets there. And even bicycle is a great place. Now, another place, I got invited this past weekend by singer Andrea Godin, which she was releasing her latest music video called Pages. Now, let's check out her last hit single called Hot Summer and check out the Hot Summer. Although Hot Summer has been gone, we have no summer, but this is a beautiful music video to just, to kind of capture some of the hot weather that we have last week.
cool video, isn't it? You know, I wish I was like that guy able to climb over a convertible, but I don't think I have the height to do it. So I probably fall before I hit in the convertible. But you know what? Check out Andrea Garden latest music video called Pages Soon. And keep it locked because I'm going to give out two free Booster Juice movies for one lucky contestant who watched two into my show. So keep it locked. And I'm going to interview amazing pop artists, reggae artists, Amoy Soon. So come on down and keep it locked.